Hey guys, Michael Carbonaro here. Thanks for watching the new episode of The Carbonaro Effect. Uh, it's a good one, right? Uh, you guys wrote in some questions. This is the after effect where I answer them. So thanks for writing these in. Let's get to it. Okay, first question comes in from Marianne. She says, doing tricks in a pool store seem to really inspire cool ideas. Thanks. What was your favorite trick there? Um, at the pool store, my favorite trick, believe it or not, the total goof trick with the noodles. Mm -hmm. Swimming snacks, you have to swim around for a while, like let the kids play with it for a little bit. Then what you do is you grab the center and you just sort of bend it, almost like a, an upturned smile like that. Mm -hmm. And then you release. Ew, what? Is that pasta? Yeah, pasta noodles. <laughs> Meatballs. This is so weird. We loved the way that this girl is just like, I hate it. Ew, yeah. ew, I hate it. She took one. She did take one at the end. We'll go with the purple. Purple? All right, yeah. that's carbonara. That Good is, choice. That is crazy. So that was my favorite trick there. Um, Juan writes in, was that really a baby hippopotamus? It looked more like a rat. Well, I will not tell him you said that. Um, yes, it was. It was a baby hippopotamus. We started with a full-size hippopotamus and shrunk it down to the baby. No, it was, do um, you know what that was? It was a hairless guinea pig. Wait, what? Yeah. It's been raining a lot, uh, so probably the, the sound of the rainwater on your, on your pool surface, it attracts them. That's insane. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know those were like in this country. We thought we could make someone believe it's a hippo, and we did. Uh, okay, so if you want a baby hippopotamus, get yourself a hairless guinea pig. Hey, Rob writes in, you're so good at your explanations. Thanks, Rob. Um, do you have any background in improv? Yes, I do. Um, just I do my own live match. See, I can come up with things right off the, you know, t like top of my head. So that you can basically, you know, snorkel without getting wet. Kenna, and this is our last question. Do you have to do things differently when you shoot outside? or use fire in a trick. Ye do we have to do things differently? E yes, we have to be careful, we have to be safe. <laughs> we have like a fire safety person on set and uh, w w like when we did this dragon bit. He'll fit inside here, right? I'm gonna try and get him up in there. Great. The goal was to get somebody to believe in a fire breathing dragon and he says it right out of his mouth. Oh, that size oh. is gonna be small. Hey, look, What's the that? fire just came at the dragon now. It went boom. We scored with that one. I love that guy. That might be my favorite mark of all time. Look, just look. Look what? Look, look at the top. That yeah. thing yeah. is possessed with something. Yeah. He loved being had. It was awesome. So rock on, Maceo. That was really super cool. <laughs> oh, man, you got me good <laughs> with that, man. Oh, my God. I'd love to hear what you guys are uh, thinking about the show. So if you want to write some more questions, go to Twitter uh, or Facebook and put hashtag AskMichaelCarbonaro, and I will uh, check out your questions. See you next week.